Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue our Season 3 Pro Career Mode and we head to Royal Trin Golf Links in Trin, Scotland for the EA Charity event. This is the uh, last event before the FedEx Cup playoffs. So, quick rounds. Obviously we made the mistake the last time we played a a quick round at the PGA when we should have played a full round, but uh, no, we're going to play quick rounds. This is not that big a tournament, so just prior to the FedEx Cup playoffs, which I think we're leading comfortably. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season long race for Here the FedEx go. Cup. Today it's live first round coverage of the Charity Invitational. We played Trin before, I think we played it early in the season. Uh, is it the International Challenge or something it was called? I don't know if we won that. Mark Oroy, 5 under par. Let's see. Just tuning in, we're checking in on our featured golfer here at the first. Could be not Frank, are you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have oh, first two jitters? Uh, Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's yeah, we won the international challenge. Some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And of course, you never know what's going to happen. Not oh, meant to start my time. I've probably lost a couple of minutes. Right. Uh, I switched back to Nike clubs um, just to the end of the season. <laughs> See how I play with them. Beautiful looking shot right here. Oh, just uh, two rolls and potato waffles and egg. And a couple of extra waffles. This and I feel quite good. Oh, that's well, so fair. Watch it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Players still fighting the strong winds out there. <coughs> Five holes left. Is he up above it? Needs a few more of those. That's the bird. This time, this one gets him. Boo weak way. Six under par. Frank, they call this second hole black block. They also call it the most heavily bunker hole on the entire course. What do you have to do to stay away from it? Well, it's just going to find the rough, I believe. Yep. Um, some bunkers in play either side. Not a good tee shot. Just let the ball go to ground, let it run out. There's 11 bunkers in total on the second hole. The wind's behind. This is a good looking shot. The bait. Oh, not sure. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. How about this? Birdies at one and two. We could be in for something pretty special today. Yeah, there's these coming. Oh, nice. A few club selection decisions that come into play on this first shot, Frank. There is the reason why there's a boom that cuts through from the 16th hole all the way across the golf course. Oh, oh, that's the over a lot of that. Just a start to about 285 yards. That really has to be at the forefront of your mind. When he pays the price for that. Uh, the Andy Murray match is just about to start, probably the next uh, 20 minutes or so. So hopefully I can get this tournament done and dusted and I'll sit and watch the Andy Murray semi-final at the Australian Open. Playing against Roy Och, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Roy Och, Canadian guy. So I'll watch that after this. May come back and record another tournament. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not a tournament, but a kind of a different event. Now let's go down to the action at the fourth. 
because I've come up with some ideas for very nice start to the round. Couple of birds for some events. Uh, is that, is that bunker there? Uh, well poised actually to have a very good round today. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort. effort. Oh, nice. Just made that first bounce in the fairway. Tell me that. Oh. I just paused that, didn't I? Now the second shot here at this part five. Oh, I was going to say I've got four or five minutes done. Uh, uh, two, two, eight. Pop down a bit, I think. Now I just may be able to get two videos in one. Or two rounds in one video. This is going, too going, long. Gone. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, my chip in the last this couple of tournaments hurt. just has not been great. Uh, I mean, the PGA was sort of Chip really poor. Now the first par three here at Royal mm, Troon. One hole remaining. A little bit more than two hundred yards. What's the challenge here, Frank? A lot we'll depends on the breeze. Uh, plus, you remember you've got to allow for a roll and the bounce here. So anything pitching on the front of the green. Well, it's going to be sure. Eh? Well, it may have been not too bad if it'd been in line with the pin. It would probably have bounced and went on the green. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot, Frank, when I think of the great bunker players in the history of the sport, I think about Gary Player, Seve Biasquez. Yeah, uh, it's so kind of well. a bit weird to look at it, so effective on the greenside <coughs> bunker shot. Oh, excuse me. An attitude for stock that was different. For them, well, it was, uh, it's, it's the first round ball. under the belt. And uh, they, they would imagine the amount of sand. Pretty good start. I mean, but... Where you don't have to hit the ball first. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. Aim the club at that and make sure. Well, under par through through five holes, not bad. <coughs> I'll go with that. And it'll probably try and get two rounds in. There we go, five under par. We finish sixty-six, tied for the lead. Probably just try and cram one into one video, I think. He says. <sighs> so you know what we're at. Second round, we'll just go for it. Oh, we've got seven under par. So we've simulated two shots under par at the start. EA Sports. And the PGA Tour proudly oh, presents the part, old Michael, the right? season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live. Let's crack on. Let's have a see two names. Well, this is shouldn't have aimed over a little bit. Yeah, looks like it's going to be in the rough. We moved that one out there, but <coughs> it's not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Uh, 150 feet yards up. away. Ready to play the second shot. Club up a little bit. That slope's going to counterbalance or counteract. Yeah. Uh, a shot. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. That's a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. Wow. Uh, I've got a lot, long putt here. Uh, looks like it breaks at the end, but uh, fairly straight, actually. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. It's <coughs> a sort of distance. If it goes in, it's fairly a bonus. straight. Just five feet left. Yeah, that was a bit risky. It did have a wee bit of break on it, but I aimed straight. So no, it's in anyway. That's the main thing. Seven under. Standing over the ball here at the par four eleven. Frank, quite a hole. 
the tee shot is so important here. This is one tee shot. If you miss, you will pay the price deep. I probably record this, I'll check to see if Andy Murray's on court, he's probably warming up just a bit now I think, make him back and record the next part after the game, to see four. Uh, a birdie chance outside, birdie chance. Good approach shot. I don't have this for birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Oh, it's hard to see. There is. There is break there, but. See, there was. Close it goes. It's an extra shot. Kind of always thought there was going to be more, but. This for par. That's good work. That's good par right there. Mm, could be actually a couple behind McElroy here. I don't know what he shot, but we were, were tied with McElroy at Scotland, five under. Troon Golf Club, which is still wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. Yeah, so holds remaining. To the right, it's a horse right and left. There's a bit of a mound. Speed up, because we need to. I don't know what my time is. Uh, I must be getting close to. To the fifteen to minutes. Oh, that's gonna be short, eh? There's a spin. You try up next. <clears throat> you better spin, but not much. Here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Oh, go. Oh, come on. Where the pots? Ooh! It's steamy, but it's in the hole. Oh, yeah, there'll be some speed on it. Get under par. Okay, last hole coming up for the second round. Another par four that bends to the right. Uh, lots of undulation on this fairway. It does bend. This is the first of six straight holes. The archer can come across, so. I've changed Excellent. my Looking attribute settings in the last tournament, I believe. We went more sort of, sort of putting short game kind of thing. So I took a little bit off this at top. Uh, the, the driver uh, distance. Just for a wee bit more accuracy. Five. Frank, we were up. commenting earlier in the day that this round had really gone wrong. Are, are you surprised that he's been able to put it back good. together? Oh, certainly, he lost his nice. Close our holes by Buddy, perhaps. Mm. I think it's just just on the the right edge. Oh, is it as much as that. Yep, Buddy, now on the part. So that's going to conclude this video. We'll see where we finish. So that is a top ten performance through two Potentially rounds. three behind McElroy. Need to see how we finish. There we go. It's coming up. And yep, finish nine under par three behind. Not bad. Halfway stage. That'll do it. Okay guys, that will conclude this video, uh, I'll go and check and see the Andy Murray match, and I might record the next series after that, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next event, bye.